hello friends welcome back uh, today we'll be trying to decode the most commonly used laptop processors uh, in india right now so these are the three uh, variations i have uh, chose from one from uh, i7 one from i5 and one from uh, i3 uh, processor categories so in core i7 i have selected the 85500 uh, 8550 u uh, in i5 i have selected the 8250 u and in i3 8130u is the most commonly used uh, processors right now so let's see when they were launched uh, so the i7 and i5 were launched in uh, third quarter of uh, 2017 whereas the i3 has is recently launched in the first quarter of 2018 now coming to uh, what exactly the u uh, meaning uh, or uh, stands for in the processors yeah, u means the ultra book category or the ultra portable uh, laptops so these are mainly used for uh, sleek devices and their uh, thermal design uh, is very less compared to a desktop uh, which uses around 45 watt this uses around uh, 15 watt of power so now see let's see the prices uh, you'll see that the prices are around uh, for i7 it is 409 for i5 it is 297 and for uh, i3 it is 281 so you can see the difference between the i3 and i5 is hardly around uh, 16 dollars so this 16 dollars if you convert to uh, indian rupees it is coming around 11 20 rupees uh, approximately uh, or take it as 1200 rupees so let's see if it is worth it to go for the i3 rather than the i5 Yes, problem is the companies who build the laptops, even though they select the 8130, they may not, might not uh, price it sensibly uh, just by 1200 rupees. So, let's go into it. So, you can see the major difference between the i3, i7, and uh, i5 is i5 and i7 both are quad core processors. This is the first generation of uh, processors which is having quad core after uh, Ryzen uh, group of processors arrived. You can see the processor base frequency is around 1.8 for i7, 1.6 for uh, i5 and 2.2 gigahertz for i3 so it is basically not able to step down from the 2.2 uh, gigahertz and hence uh, there will be a loss of battery because it is already always running at 2.2 gigahertz unless you uh, undervolt it and one more major difference is the smart cache you can see the i3 has 4 mb whereas the uh, uh, i5 has 6 mb smart cache and uh, i7 has the 8 mb of smart cache all are having 15 watt of thermal design uh, processing and uh, configurable in i7 and i5 whereas uh, in i3 it is not configurable you can decrease the voltage uh, so that the baseline frequency uh, can increase or decrease uh, if you want to increase you can go up to 2 gigahertz baseline uh, for the i7 and 1.8 for the i5 so maximum allowable uh, tdp will be 25 watts uh, for both i5 and i7 and minimum underclocking will be around 800 megahertz in all the three so lowest uh, processor uh, tdp will be around 10 watt for each you can see that yeah so the software used is uh, basically uh, safest will be around uh, will be the intel xtu software which is freely available i can give the link if you want so for memory specifications uh, it is basically how much ram it supports maximum ram uh, will be around 32 gb for each they can either support the ddr4 or the ddr3 lp ddr3 uh, which is 2400 megahertz or 2133 megahertz now coming to the graphics all have the intel uh, usd graphics 620 everything is same only you have to see the maximum uh, dynamic frequency is 1.15 gigahertz for i7 1.1 for i5 and 1 gigahertz for the i3 they all the three support uh, 4k support at uh, around 60 hertz so these are the expansion options pci expansion options 3.0 and uh, maximum number of PCI Express lanes are 12 in each. So rest of the things are almost similar you can see. Now coming to the specific categories, uh, Intel Optane is supported from the 7th generation onwards. So yes, uh, all the three support Intel speed shift technology so that they can decrease the processing speeds. And Intel vPro technology is not supported by any of the three. So it cannot be used by IT uh, maintenance departments and my IT managers uh, to remotely control your laptops. There is hyper threading technology which is available and Intel virtualization technology is available which enables it to install dual OS 
suppose you have windows os already so you can uh, install by enabling things you can install linux os as well as mac os or remix os uh, i have shown in my very old videos of surface pro 3 and 4 how we install the remix os you can go through that to see how uh, to enable the intel virtualization technology Rest all the three processors are 64-bit uh, processors, so sub they support the 64-bit operating systems, and hence uh, they help. Uh, they are better in uh, multitasking. I mean, multi-core tasks. So this quad-core and uh, uh, dual-core are better uh, or uh, utilized in the 64-bit operating system. So. Uh, keeping rest of the features almost similar uh, i just want to know whether this core i3 and i5 difference uh, if you are going for it is it worth it uh, if we just take into the price consideration so hardly 1200 rupees you are downgrading from a quad core uh, which is the usp of the 8th gen processor but actually the uh, i3 generation is not a quad core uh, chip whereas i5 and i7 are quad core so is it worth it in my point of view i3 is not worth it uh, for the price difference so i'll always suggest you uh, at least go for this i5 or the i7 processors thank you guys if you like the video do like share and subscribe and uh, i'll be back with more thank you